I'm Josh, I'm a second year learning disability student nurse here at Birmingham City University. Okay. And I believe you listened to some lectures today. I did. Um, we had three lectures, one on low arousal approaches, one on reducing restrictive practices, and the other on um, health and well-being, happiness and well-being. On the low arousal approach, mm -hmm. uh, were you aware of the low arousal approach before today? I was. Um, I've, had, I've been fortunate to have a placement with Studio 3, um, and before then I'd kind of read a lot on the subject, but it's always interesting hearing that different perspective by different trainers, um, different people in the field. So each time you hear about it, I think you take something different away from it. And what are you taking today away from the lecture on the low arousal approach? I think really it just reinforced the low arousal approach um, and kind of took it from not just a crisis management perspective, but to kind of general rules around communication, um, use of touch, and gives you a lot of good practice examples for working with people with learning disabilities and autism.